peace, the confidence. Oh, it's so much joy that I have this amount of money that I've, that I've prayed about. So much joy that I'm already whole from uh, uh, this health problem that I've had. It's so much joy and peace. And I feel so abundant. I feel so rich. I feel so free that my relationships are amazing. It's maintaining that emotion as if it's already happened. Um, uh, you have a specific intent. And you also have the emotion as if it's already happened. He says, we teach people to get up as if their prayers already been answered. So it'd be like this. If you're praying for an amount of money, um, when you have that amount of money, what's the emotional state you'll be in? Will it bring you, oh, God, it's, I feel so free. I feel so abundant. It's so amazing how good to me you are, God. Then he says, um, uh, you have a specific intent. And you also have the emotion as if it's already happened. He says, we teach people to get up as if their prayers already been answered. So it'd be like this. If you're praying for an amount of money, um, when you have that amount of money, what's the emotional state you'll be in? Will it bring you, oh, God, it's, I feel so free. I feel so abundant. It's so amazing how good to me you are, God. Then he says, um, uh, you have a specific intent. And you also have the emotion as if it's already happened. He says, we teach people to get up as if their prayers already been answered. So it'd be like this. If you're praying for an amount of money, um, when you have that amount of money, what's the emotional state you'll be in? Will it bring you, oh, God, it's, I feel so free. I feel so abundant. It's so amazing how good to me you are, God. Thank you for seeing as if it's already done. I, I already am this person. I already have these results. And you feel the peace. You feel the abundance. You feel the emotions if you already have it. And then it becomes, then it, I am's to you is literally what the scripture says. <laughs> so it's pretty fun. Seeing as if it's already done. I, I already am this person. I already have these results. And you feel the peace. You feel the abundance. You feel the emotions if you already have it. And then it becomes, then it, I am's to you is literally what the scripture says. <laughs> so it's pretty fun. But I want to see as if it's already done. I, I already am this person. I already have these results. And you feel the peace, you feel the abundance, you feel the emotions if you already have it. And then it becomes, then it, I am's to you is literally what the scripture says. <laughs> so it's pretty fun. I have a future tense. So if they prayed for something, they would put it in past tense. And they would say, I already have this. This is how it's going to be. I have a future tense. So if they prayed for something, they would put it in past tense. And they would say, I already have this. This is how it's going to be. I have a future tense. So if they prayed for something, they would put it in past tense. And they would say, I already have this. This is how it's going to be. I have a future tense. So if they prayed for something, they would put it in past tense. And they would say, I already have this. This is how it's going to be. It feels so wonderful. I feel so much peace. It feels that you have ways we know not how, where I can literally give this to you. I completely just trust the Lord from heaven, the, the anointing within, Christ within me, which means the rubbing on of oil, the anointing, that being within me to do it. And I don't have to have any pressure on myself. I give this to you, God. Thank you. And completely expect God to take care of it. When you wake up in the morning, if you ever think of it, you just go, oh, it feels so amazing that, you know, I had this uh, this apparent financial need. I'm so blessed. I feel so abundant. I feel so much peace. Whatever that emotion would bring that you already took care of it for me. Now, I don't go try to manifest for this for months. I literally, within a week, something will show up, guys, to you to confirm, like, oh, it's already been taken care of. And expect it. And so, what I was sharing you with the silver, I think what people are trying to do, they get so bogged down on the technique or anything like that versus it's really just expectancy. Like God is good. He's always good. He's promised that anything I desire, I give it to him and he brings it to me in ways we know that how every prayer versus 100% assurance. So if we can learn to trust this, the anointing within, within me, then we can be sure. And you can actually live in faith. I think what people are trying to do, they get so bogged down on the technique or anything like that versus it's really just expectancy. Like God is good. He's always good. He's promised that anything I desire, I give it to him and he brings it to me in ways we know that how every prayer versus 100% assurance. So if we can learn to trust this, the anointing within, within me, then we can be sure. And you can actually live in faith. I think what people are trying to do, they get so bogged down on the technique or anything like that versus it's really just expectancy. Like God is good. He's always good. He's promised that anything I desire, I give it to him and he brings it to me in ways we know that how every prayer verse is 100% assurance. So if we can learn to trust this, the anointing within me, then we can be sure. And you can actually live in faith. What I would desire to have, I just give this to you and then go to bed. What I would desire to have, I just give this to you and then go to bed.
what I would desire to have. I just give this to you and then go to bed. What I would desire to have. I just give this to you and then go to bed while you're resting. That's grace. And says he just expected it. Says, well, that afternoon, so same day, guys. What I would desire to have. I just give this to you and then go to bed. And that creative state, that alpha, theta, delta state, guys, that's the anointing within you. God gives to his beloved in their sleep while you're resting. That's grace. And says he just expected it. Says, well, that afternoon, that day, gave it to thank you. I believe you have received it. Oh, it feels so amazing that I have this amount of money. I feel the peace. It's so awesome. And if you if you think about it during the day, just go, it's amazing that I gave this to you, God, and you took care of it completely for me. And that week, guys, look for results. This was the first day. You don't have to have the whole thing yet, but just look like, oh, that's clear that God's showing me. I can trust him that the thing is being resolved and it's coming to me. It'll be that quick if you actually expect it, okay? That day, I believe you have received it. Oh, it feels so amazing that I have this amount of money. I feel the peace. It's so awesome. And if you if you think about it during the day, just go, it's amazing that I gave this to you, God, and you took care of it completely for me. And that week, guys, look for results. This was the first day. You don't have to have the whole thing yet, but just look like, oh, that's clear that God's showing me. I can trust him that the thing is being resolved and it's coming to me. It'll be that quick if you actually expect it, okay? That day, I believe you have received it. Oh, it feels so amazing that I have this amount of money. I feel the peace. It's so awesome. And if you if you think about it during the day, just go, it's amazing that I gave this to you, God, and you took care of it completely for me. And that week, guys, look for results. This was the first day. You don't have to have the whole thing yet, but just look like, oh, that's clear that God's showing me. I can trust him that the thing is being resolved and it's coming to me. It'll be that quick if you actually expect it, okay? What I would desire to have, I just give this to you and then go to bed. Sense. I think what people are trying to do, they get so bogged down on the technique or anything like that versus it's really just expectancy. Like God is good. He's always good. He's promised that anything I desire, I give it to him and he brings it to me in ways we know that how every prayer verse is 100% assurance. So if we can learn to trust this, the anointing within Christ within me, then we can be sure. And you can actually live in faith. We've equated faith as belief, peace, the confidence. Oh, it's so much joy that I have this amount of money that I've that I've prayed about so much joy that I'm already whole from uh, uh, this health problem that I've had. It's so much joy and peace. And I feel so abundant. I feel so rich. I feel so free that my relationships are amazing. It's maintaining that emotion as if it's already happened. See, as if it's already done. I, I already am this person. I already have these results. And you feel the peace. You feel the abundance. You feel the emotions if you already have it. And then it becomes, then it, I am's to you is literally what the scripture says. So it's pretty fun. But I want to have a future tense. So if they prayed for something, they would put it in past tense. And they would say, I already have this. This is how it's going to be. It feels so wonderful. I feel so much peace. It feels that you have ways we know not how, where I can literally give this to you. And completely just trust the Lord from heaven, the, the anointing within, Christ within me which means the rubbing on of oil, the anointing, that being within me to do it. And I don't have to have any pressure on myself. I give this to you, God. Thank you, Father. And completely expect God to take care of it. When you wake up in the morning, if you ever think of it, you just go, oh, it feels so amazing that, you know, I had this, uh, this apparent financial need. I'm so blessed. I feel so abundant. I feel so much peace. Whatever that emotion would bring that you already took care of it for me. Now, I don't go try to manifest for this for months. I literally, within a week, something will show up, guys, to you to confirm, like, oh, it's already been taken care of and expect it. And so what I was sharing you with the silver peace, the confidence, oh, it's so much joy that I have this amount of money that I've, that I've prayed about. It's so much joy that I'm already whole from uh, uh, this health problem that I've had. It's so much joy and peace. And I feel so abundant. I feel so rich. I feel so free that my relationships are amazing. It's maintaining that emotion as if it's already happened. Seen as if it's already done. I, I already am this person. I already have these results. And you feel the peace. You feel the abundance. You feel the emotions if you already have it. And then it becomes, then it, I am's to you is literally what the scripture says. <laughs> so it's pretty fun. But I want to say peace, the confidence. Oh, it's so much joy that I have this amount of money that I've, that I've prayed about. It's so much joy that I'm already whole from 
uh, this health problem that I've had. It's so much joy and peace and I feel so abundant. I feel so rich. I feel so free that my relationships are amazing. It's maintaining that emotion as if it's already happened. I feel so wonderful. I feel so much peace. It feels that you have ways we know not how, where I can literally give this to you. And completely just trust the Lord from heaven, the, the anointing within, within me, which means the rubbing on of oil, the anointing, that being within me to do it. And I don't have to have any pressure on myself. I give this to you, God. Thank you. And completely expect God to take care of it. When you wake up in the morning, if you ever think of it, you just go, oh, it feels so amazing that, you know, I had this, um, this apparent financial need. I'm so blessed. I feel so, when I feel so much peace, whatever that emotion would bring that you already took care of it for me. Now, I don't go try to manifest for this for months. I literally, within a week, something will show up guys to you to confirm like, oh, it's already been taken care of and expect it. And so what I was sharing you with the silver is you don't even, it's not a long process. Your heart readily accepts what you do. And it's transformed like that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yes. So anybody, anybody have a desire that they want prayer for? Amen. Break down the most basic, as we know it in science today, the most fundamental piece of everything that's that we can see in the physical realm. It's made out of little packets of light energy called photons. Everything is. Isn't it interesting that God says, I'm, I, I am light. Yeah. Now, he also says, <clears throat> all things are possible. True? So, yes. yes. Right. So, meaning this, I've given you everything that pertains to life and godliness. It means everything's available and all things are available. So, every possibility exists right now. So, the possibility that you could be in fear exists. The also possibility it, right now at the same time means Barbara could be at so much peace, she's blown away of how free she is. That's a possibility. Okay. Ooh. Right? Yeah. And fear is not begging God, please remove the fear that's the one in my side. No. That'll never get you anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna just you're gonna be asking for the same prayer request ten years from now. Oh, no. Here's how beautiful God is observable. The kingdom's within you. So the kingdom has nothing to do with even my words I'm saying right now. I'm just trying to show you how it works and then we'll go do it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> when you when you just take some breaths, which I'll walk you through. You immediately go into this alpha mode where your brain waves literally slow down. I remember you guys were on last night. Uh, my friend Joe is an electrical engineer. He was in the house. And I said, Joe, if there's a bunch of current going through a wire, is there a bunch of resistance? He goes, oh, it's huge. It gets hot and it doesn't work very well. I said, but when, everything, when there's no resistance, when there's less current, everything flows freely. Well, your brain is the same way, guys. If you've got all this stuff going on, you actually are your own. The Khan, guys, is the, the apparent opposite, right? Enemy in this scripture right. means I'm living in this world of duality. But the spiritual man, the last enemy that will shall be removed is the idea of death itself. You're going to prove to yourself, like, oh, I've always been alive. Isn't that cool? Right. Uh -huh. So yeah. when, you, when you calm yourself down and you get into alpha, you're immediately freely. At least you saw me eating a, a chili cheese dog and going to an opera house. It's exactly what we did last week. So that should give you assurance that when you uh -huh. dream, you get into this where your brain's not scattered and it's really just slow, low frequency. There's no resistance. And you tap into everything that's available. Uh -huh. And the minute you just either tell yourself or you experience that, that is real to you. The spirit itself goes, oh, I'm going to take this idea and the scene that we visualize of Barbara being so peaceful, so full of life will effortlessly happen to you. That's prayer. So we just, we choose to focus on the end result as if it's already done. And the minute we do it in alpha, it literally takes this, the physical realm and molds and shapes it and brings it into your, into your life. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Einsteins, the yeah. thinking grow rich, all these guys were trying to teach this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you listen to Jose Silva's the meditations, they, they, they always have to get you to alpha. Yeah. And they, so they have you counting from 10 to 1 all the time, 10 to one to slow yeah. your brain wave down because yeah. that's when you become very receptive and, you know, yeah. ready to, yeah, it's very good. Yeah. And, oh. and it, it, you see the Bible tells us to resist not evil. Like yes. you talked about the electricity thing. There's no resistance. Yes. And yeah. uh, What? 
Can we see her with more money? You can do whatever you want. Uh, yes. All things are possible. Believe you have received it and you will. How do you, how, how are you persuaded you receive it? How we're designed is beautiful. When you slow your brain waves down, you naturally are persuaded. Faith is passive. You don't have to try to do it. It'll just be who you are. Amen. Everybody's trying to pray. No, prayer is being. Being. Yeah. It's being what you already desire to be when you quiet your mind down and seeing yourself enjoying it. That's, That's why it. God is I am, right? I am. Yeah. I am is being. Yeah. You cannot get more faith or get closer to God or understand God by reading your book. You can't. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? That can typically separate you from your intuitiveness. Trying. So, anybody can do this, and then I'm going to go see what my girlfriend's doing here. <laughs> I got a hot girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. And all you guys relax. It's my wife. I just right, like yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, stuff like this. I said, you should see my first wife. She was hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Western Christians get spun through the roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Bet their heads yeah. explode. Oh, yeah. I said, as soon as you stop screwing your secretary, we'll talk. Right? I, have a, I have a prayer request. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's hear it. What, what's your prayer request? Who's that? Right? I, it's okay. me, yes. I'll do it with Barbara and you. Yes. We're not focused on I don't have this or my bills do or my doctor diagnosed me with this or this or this or this right in the spirit realm everything's impossible right now so you simply see yourself enjoying that waking up and Marie that God this is what I did I'll, I'll just share this so when I when I became here I was like I hate this now if you love engineering great and it's just to just look up with your eyeballs a little bit and breathe 10 times like Marie was talking about just take some deep breaths you whether you think you're not you're an alpha and so then I would close my eyes I'm, I'm in my engineering I would just breathe and you guys can do it right now just it feels so good to be free it feels so good to be joyful it feels so good to be abundant so in awe of how good life is. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And what I would do, and then I'll do it with you guys, is I would, I would, I would feel my finger. Even though I'm still, I'm just sitting there in my cube. I would smell the coffee. I would, I would pick up the coffee in my hand, in, in my imagination, and just take a, like you can when you get coffee. If you coffee drinkers, you can feel the steam kind of hit your face where it feels warm. It feels a little moist, right? You can smell that coffee. And I would take a drink and I'd put it down like, oh, God, it's so great to be alive this morning. Amen. And I would picture myself at 9 a.m. On my, on my sofa and looking over to Barb and going, what are you going to do today? Because 9 a.m. signified I wasn't at work. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. And so I would sit there and go, it feels so great. Babe, what do you want to do? And so for 21 years, we've done that every day. Father, it's so great that I can travel the world. My kids are prosperous. I'm prosperous. Everything works in my life. I'm so free. It feels so awesome. And I've told you the story. My, my, my partner comes two years ago and he's like, it's so great. My wife's beautiful. It feels so great. My kids are amazing. I feel so free. It's so awesome to live like this. And then it comes. That's how it works, guys. And so when you talk about feeling, then you're in faith and you're that. They said, whatever you focus on. So, Barbara, let me ask you this: what would be what would be like the most perfect stress-free day where you where where you're just like in awe of how much peace you have? Like, what would you be doing in the morning? Um, smiling, laughing. I like to laugh, and I would like to maybe write a funny book or. Um, okay. <clears throat> yeah, so let's do that. Would you be would you be drinking coffee? What's your normal routine? Do you drink tea? I have, I have tea. Tea? tea? Uh, mm -hmm. Cream and sugar? And I, don't, and I don't read the Bible anymore because I don't know how to do Do you let your cream and sugar going? Amen. <clears throat> that possibility exists. And the minute you experience it in the spirit, guys, it, it sets off 
the kingdom. Amen. It'll happen to you. Okay. Amen. Amen. Be good to do. It comes to you. Okay. Amen. Okay. All right, Thank Barbara. You. Let's Thank do that. You. Just take a deep breath with me. Okay. And you can say what I just my habit is. Just what I've, what I've learned over the years. You can just do it. It feels so wonderful. You can do whatever. So I'm not trying to be religious. I was just still religious when I learned all this stuff. So it's like saying, thank you. For it feels so wonderful. All right, Barbara, here's what I want you to do. You just see yourself, you, your normal routine, you're making your tea. Can you see yourself making your tea? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Father. Now just see yourself pouring the cream and the sugar in it. Whatever you do, if you stir it, just do that routine. Can you just see yourself okay. doing that? And I got a new cat, and it's always meowing. <laughs> <laughs> we got a cat, too. It's meowing. So... You hear the cat in the background meowing, trying to get your attention, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, do you go sit down on the couch, or where do you go drink this tea? I go sit on the couch. All right, so you go down to the couch, and I'll just take that tea in your imagination and just take a sip. Like, do you sip it? Do you make sure it's not too hot on your lips? What do you do? I sip it. I've been reading Neville Goddard's book. That's what I do. Yeah, doing. cool. <laughs> <laughs> you, feel your, you feel your fingers open that book, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. And I'll just say this to yourself. It feels so amazing how much peace I'm experiencing. So amazing how much peace I'm experiencing. It feels so good to be free. It feels so good to be free. Ah, life is so good. I've never been happier in my life. I've never been happier in my life. Thank I've you. I've never laughed more in my life. I never laughed more in my life. It was so fun writing that book. It was so fun writing that book. I'm so happy it's affecting people. I'm so happy it's affecting people. Thank you. I never knew you were this good, God. I never knew you were this good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Now just open your eyes. Deep breath, Rick. You know what I'll do is I'll, I'll just do, I'll just, I'll, I'll count down from 10 to and just don't get confused. Guys, what works better for you? Like you can experiment with it and you'll go, oh, this one works better. So there's no right or wrong, mm -hmm. thing, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to, you guys can just practice this one too, where like, like you hear a lot of people, what, I, what I've done is where you, you, you count down from 10 down to one and with each breath and you place your, your focus right on your, like your breathing right out of your heart area. So yeah. take a deep breath, Rick. Yep. I just kind of picture like the breath coming out of your heart area. Okay. Yep. Just take another deep breath. All right. Feels so free. Feels so wonderful. Just eight. Thank you, Father. Just seven. Thank you, Father. Feels so great that my heart is just calm. My body's calm. My emotions are calm. Everything's perfectly relaxed. Just seven. Six. Thank you, Father. Five. We're just going to stop there because I can tell people are already there. Thank you, Father. Now just close your laptop, Rick. In your imagination, you can feel your fingers hitting it. You just shut it. Just take a deep breath with your laptop closed. You see yourself going, I got it. I got it. It's amazing how easy that was and how much freedom that generated. Amazing. Amazing that was. Amen. And 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 did I write a book? Sure, that's what I said. Whatever, whatever that was, right. whatever that right. laptop signified, whatever All you right. want. To. Thank whatever you. Whatever you did, I don't care what you did there. Thank you. Right, your 
you're you're enjoying the emotion is of this already written money. You're blown away that all that money has already come in. It's so awesome. Thank you, Father. Now, I promise you what you did just set off the kingdom of heaven. It's like, okay, Rick wants that. Let me, I'm scrambling, bringing that to pass. You just experience it if it's real. I believe it. I believe it. It is. That's how it works. That's how beautifully and wonderfully we're designed. If you did it, I believe it. No, wait, I did it. <laughs> no, I, I, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. You did it. Yeah, I did it. It worked. So then, then as Marie did, you know, it was like, well, what we do with the prayer team? We don't support. You're commanding what you want. You're not asking for what you want. You're commanding what you want. You're not asking. You're commanding it. You are the commander in charge. Your aide does whatever you say. Your aide will sal salute smartly and do so. You don't say, could you please give me a chicken sandwich? You say, soldier, get me a chicken sandwich. You may say, please, just out of courtesy, but you're commanding it. You're not asking or begging. Most people who want things beg the universe. Oh, please, 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 please. Well, then you're not the commander, so they don't, they don't respond. You have to command what you want. You don't ask for it. And when you command it, your command is an energetic command affecting molecules in the universe. So when you command something, physically see in your mind's eye or fantasize that molecules are vibrating. They're moving. They are actually doing what you commanded. We're going to talk more about this tomorrow. But you have to understand tonight when your mind is thinking about all these things and chewing on it and working on it, that you command what you want. You do not ask for what you want. Did you notice the commands that we did earlier this year? The commands for the inner circle were, for example, July is going to be an amazing month for Jen. It's a statement of fact, or it's a command to make something happen. It's not a pleading request. You understand the difference? It's not arrogant, and we're not screaming, because the universe is in death. The last step is you have to release it, and you don't care anymore. And I'll give you an example. You have a crappy car. It's breaking down a lot. It's got bad gas mileage. You're sick of it. You decided what you want. You want a new car. Rather than be specific, you're more general. You want any new car will do. You can't afford it right now, so any new car will do. And you know the reason why. You want that new car because... It's going to make you feel more secure. It's going to make you feel happier. It's going to make you feel at peace. It's going to make you feel better about yourself driving a new car. It's going to save money on gas, which is going to allow you to pay off your bulls sooner, which is going to allow you to feel better about yourself. So you go through all these reasons. Then you decided you're going to put this out into the universe. So you Go for a little walk, you come home, you take a little bath, you got some candles, you do a little meditation, you got some music playing for maybe a half hour. Then you come out of the bath, you dry off, you do a little deep breathing, you're in a little quiet space. You know that all things vibrate, and when you do this, that the whole universe is going to start vibrating differently because you have the power to do that. Then you make a command. I will have a new car fully paid for very soon. And you put that intention out. And as you do that, you see in your mind's eye molecules changing and vibrating and, and moving because of your command. And that command has left in, into the universe. And you know that that command cannot be rescinded. And you know that that command will be obeyed. And you feel good. Even though you're driving a crappy car, you feel good that you finally put 
the order in to the Sears Roebuck Catalog Company. And in the Old West, it took a while for those orders to get shipped to you. But you know that you put the order in and it's coming. But it's the Old West. There's, there's Indians and railroad is being built. So it may take some time. But you know there's nothing more you can do. You put the order in. It's going to come when it comes. Nothing you can do about it. But it's coming. And so since you put the order in at Sears Robot Catalog, and you know that there's nothing more you can do about it, you release it and stop caring about it. You release it. You don't worry when it's coming. It's coming. You don't care that you don't have it because there's nothing you can do to change that. So you're happy with the current car you have. You feel good about it, and you've released it. You may put out a couple more requests as well later, but you almost don't even need to. It's kind of like when Moses hit the rock twice. Remember that story? For those of you who are biblical or follow Old Testament Jews or Christians, God said, we need, Moses, we need water. Okay, take your staff and hit the rock, and water will come out. Moses said, he hit it once and goes, just to make sure, I'll hit it again. That showed doubt. God said,